What is up you guys, Andre here back with another video. I had a completely different topic when I was making this video. So when I was planning to make a video about uh, Chase business credit card, I started elaborating more on two Chase personal credit cards that has no annual fee and really good benefits. I don't think I've made a video like this before, so I am going to focus on those two credit cards and then I will make a separate video about the Chase business card that I applied for. And I just don't want to make this video too long. So I had to make two separate videos. So far I have two personal credit cards from Chase, the Chase Freedom Flex and the Chase Freedom Unlimited. I eventually want to have the Chase Trifecta and the last credit card I'm missing is a credit card that does have an annual fee. But even though the last credit card has a fee, the benefits exceeds that annual fee, so I can justify paying that. I haven't gotten that card yet, but again, that's not the focus of this video, so that would be another topic, another video. So both the Chase Freedom Flex and the Chase Freedom Unlimited have a great intro offer. Basically, once you spend $500 in the first three months, then they'll give you 20,000 points which has a cash value of $200. So that is pretty good. It's a great start if you're already spending more than $500 with your regular spending, such as let's say gas and grocery. Um, they both have their pros and cons. So let's look at them side by side. Like I said, both cards have an intro offer. When you spend $500 in the first three months, then you will receive 20,000 points or $200. That's definitely a pro. If you're going to get both cards, which again, I completely recommend because they are somewhat similar, but also different. So you want to have both cards. I personally have both cards. And right now I have 40,000 points total. So 20,000 points on one card and 20,000 points on the other card. A definite pro as an intro offer again for the Freedom Flex and Freedom Unlimited is you get 5% cash back on groceries but I don't think this includes Target or Walmart. You guys have to double check that. But um, during the first year that you have this card, you can spend up to $12,000 in grocery and you get 5% cash back on those. This is not what I use this card primarily since I have another card that consistently gives me a good return on groceries. It is the Sam's Club credit card, but that card again is for another video that's not the focus on this video. On top of that, both the Flex and Unlimited gives a 5% cash back on travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% on dining, and 3% on drugstores. Not only that, both cards have travel insurance when you use it for travel. So if your trip was canceled or interrupted, then you can get $1,500 back per person or up to a total of $6,000 per trip. So if you book a flight elsewhere and asks if you want protection insurance, then don't feel obligated to get that insurance since you'll be covered through Chase. Now let's break these two cards individually. A pro as well as a downside for the Freedom Flex card is the 5% rotating category, which change every quarter. Here is the breakdown for the first quarter of 2023, which is, I believe from January to March, you get 5% cash back on grocery stores, but that includes Target now, but it still doesn't include um, Walmart. So I know last year Target and Walmart were both excluded, but this year Target is included in that rotating grocery category. Another huge plus is a 5% cash back on gym membership on the first quarter. Unfortunately, I just paid for my annual gym membership on December. So I was not able to take advantage of this deal. Don't make the exact same mistake as me. Um, if you are planning to get a gym membership in this first quarter, then do it now with this credit card and you get a 5% cash back. The next following quarters is still not determined, but most likely it's going to be somewhat similar or maybe exactly the same as last year. So last year on the second quarter, which is April to June, you get 5% cash back on Amazon and select streaming services. As you can tell already, there's an Amazon credit card, which is also associated with Chase that consistently gives you 5% cash back on Amazon. So again, I don't use the Freedom Flex 
for Amazon purchases because I do have the Amazon credit card. On the third quarter or July to September, you get 5% cash back on gas, car rentals, movie theaters, and select live entertainment. Again, this is for 2022. I don't know what it is for 2023 yet, but hopefully I can make an updated video. So we'll see. If you guys do want that, make sure you guys comment down below. Um, but as for the last quarter of um, last year, you get 5% cash back now on Walmart and also PayPal. As you can see, there are some excellent benefits to it, but it's somewhat of a headache trying to keep track of these rotating categories. Another downside to this credit card is besides the rotating category, travel, dining, drugstore, it only gives you a 1% cash back on other purchases. This is now when we want to shift to the Chase Freedom Unlimited. So for the Chase Freedom Unlimited, we'll start on the downside first. The downside for the Chase Freedom Unlimited is that it does not have, it doesn't have a 5% rotating category, but it gives a 1.5% cash back on other purchases. This is the downside, but also an upside if you compare it to the Chase Freedom Flex, which only gives you a 1% cash back on other purchases. That's not bad, 1.5%, but if I want to get my bobo milk tea on the weekends, then I rather use my Apple credit card using my phone, which gives you a 2% cash back on your purchases if the store accepts Apple Pay. Another pro on the Chase Freedom Unlimited is if you use this card on Uber or Lyft, you get a 5% cash back and this is only good until March 31st, 2025. So this is pretty much the difference between the two. Overall, they are pretty alike, except for the rotating categories on the Chase Freedom Flex and the 1.5% cash back on the Chase Freedom Unlimited. The power on these cards are not the cash back, but it's when you add another Chase card to complete the Chase trifecta and how we use those points. Don't worry, I will reveal that card on another video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss that video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Lastly, down the link below is pretty much free money. As you know, if you can sign up on Webull and deposit at least $100, you'll get that free money in the form of stock and it can potentially increase in value over time. So don't miss out on that opportunity and I will see you guys on the next video.